Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will share three of my favorite VS Code extensions. And I think you should check them out. It was quite difficult picking just three because obviously I have more than three extensions that I really like using. So let's get right into the video. The first extension on my list is the Git extension pack. This is very a very helpful extension that I've been using and it comes bundled with several other extensions. So that's why it's called a Git extension pack. So the first one extension that I have here is Git history. So this basically shows you the history of your Git repo um, by file or by line history. So when you do Git log on your terminal, basically you can just check it out here directly on vs code so that's why i use git history for and then there's also product project manager that helps you switch between projects and then there is git lens this is the one that i use the most git lens helps you supercharge your git capabilities so you can visualize code authorship you can check out who made changes and at what time the changes were made you could see you can navigate and explore the history of a file or a branch and there are other insights so i'll just show you for example uh, i have this repo here and i'll just check out the history so here it says uh, i changed this a few seconds ago and i've not committed these changes if i was working on this project with other people i would also see the reports for who changed who made changes on that file so i like it and yeah, it's really helpful for me when I'm working on a Git repo. So the next one is Git Ignore, which is like a template for Git Ignore file that you could use. I haven't really used it, but I definitely should because I find out that I am always, if Git Ignore is not set up by default, I usually just tend to look for it um, on Google and then copy and paste. But yeah, I think I should use this more often. And then there is open in GitHub, Pit, Bitbucket, or Visual Studio Code. I've also not used this because I already have a workflow for how I would open a GitHub repo. I use Hub, which is a CLI um, tool for GitHub. The ones that I use for my day-to-day -day activity is Git Lens and Git History, but you can also da download them individually, but I really like that I have everything in one. Um, extension pack. Next, we have Vitor, which is a view tooling extension for VS Code. I really enjoy using this extension when I'm working with Vue. Some of the features that ships with this extension includes syntax highlighting, snippets, emits, linting, formatting, and auto completion. And you can also do debugging with it, which I think is really cool. I have this view file here, and I'll just show you an example of um auto completion it does that really well it also has like this cool snippet that i can use say i have javascript yeah things like that uh, let me see if this is something no if i do view so i don't really know everything off the top of my head but i know that when i need to use it i yeah, I know about this ones, but it has a lot actually. Okay. Yeah. There is template as well. So there is a lot of that. So you don't need to type everything from scratch. It also helps you with linting, formatting, auto completion, and you could do debugging with it. So yeah, I really enjoy using this extension. If you would like to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. And finally, I have this very cool color theme called Science Wave 84. I really like using it because it has this cool 80s vibe with this nice glow effect. It's a theme that I've been using for some time now and yeah, I really enjoy it. And of course, I like the color purple, so it really makes sense for me right now. You can see what it looks like right now on my VS Code. It looks like I'm having a party here. It just makes writing code exciting you know having like all this amazing interesting glow effect happening and your code just looks so pretty and beautiful if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also 
subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm on the road to 1K and I'll be so excited if I reach or hit that milestone before the end of July. So yeah, help me reach my 1K, my 1K subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.